Hello guys, today's meal day is quite a challenge because we have a kilo box ball of uh, package we're going to do an opening and unboxing today. So before this recording, I decided to cut out already the edge and this middle side so we can basically start right away. And here we go with our loots from the hive mind. I think this is probably I just combined loots. That's probably about two size of two booster boxes. So we have some color game uh, hits, some booster packs opening on uh, live stream and other uh, products. And I think this is composed basically of some of the uh, very many. <laughs> so should we try to open this all in just one video or we just have another opening on the second part or just two parts? So we'll see. Wait, let me just figure out where to open. Maybe in this side, probably. So, this is what the pattern for. Bear with me as we open this one and we'll be back in a bit. Okay, now we're back. So, this is the two uh, booster boxes that we're going to check out with our loots. So, probably we'll start with this one. Not sure which one is the newest, but it was uh, composed basically of all the live sale holes and uh, color games in some of the previous uh, uh, live streams of the hive mind so i think we start this one at the bottom for dominaria remastered i think we have a lot of these including this one dominaria i think this one is the uh, previous card uh, hole that is the temple of malice and the korea box stopper i remember this one i think this is the good pull back <laughs> weeks ago maybe a month and some also a lot of Ikoria files for the live cell with the Manor Remastered and what is this? the Syndica Rising I think these are the Syndica Rising Draft Boosters so we're going to start with this first and we're just going to do the sorting later on but first off our individual um, card portrait from box 1 that is added to our collection is a single temple of malice for the black red uh, rakdos part so we're just going to set this aside for now we start with this pile of uh, Seneca draft boosters along with some head tip uh, box stopper hit that was opened on the hill stream i think uh, i still remember that card it was a very good mythic with a high value now in the market and so we're going to check this out today but, uh, let me just get the tapes and the box stopper that we are referring to is this one a very awesome motra supersonic queen that is for the luminous bold moth i think this still costs around uh, 3k almost 3000 pesos now so it was a very good hit and thank you for the truffle hit for Mr. Paul for that one and so we proceed so this is the free pack as well from the raffle on which we got a whirlwind of top and a foil run through along with this uh, uncommons and commons so never mind that since it was not a good uh, card from the set but anyway I also tried uh, a pool for the I think this one is for the color game this the color game, but sure, I heard this one is for the the uh, Commander Legends pool. So we have a Vault of Champions with Victimize, Clarsica Stone, some of the good commons in the set, and some Infrigent Elves, some Sky Diamond also. So Commander Legends is still a good uh, set to open, including the draft boosters. We have uh, Burklaw, Togo, and a Courier for the foil. So that is the Vault of Champions hit. For the land which we can add later on to our uh, shopping store so anyway let's proceed i tried to open also a japanese uh war of the spark booster but unfortunately the our hit was uh forgot the one is it's like a celebration some sort of a sorcery but we have a kasmina a japanese and vessel with some of these uh, commons so basically a, that is basically a miss for that one so let's proceed 
let's check the Seneca Racing uh, boosters on that uh, uh, pack. I think only hit it is for five uh, piece, five boosters for one thousand. We have some Royal Chasers, so Akum Warrior. These are just some of the commons. I was also hoping to hit the the double face of common as I saw that was on block but I think uh, it was a miss this time that uh, our second rare is now Priest of Oblivion it's the kicker with the fall Mahidi Ox uh, Full Art Islands and Kali Ambush and the Ruined Crab with the uh, Showcase uh, Frame the rest are just very much of this pile so we're just going to separate the rares and sort this out in their offline. So next, we have a T-Wing Skydiver for the rare with a Grokmo Foil Skyclave Ravager. Then there are commons though are just uh, basically a miss. We didn't also hit some of the good commons. Maybe a negate. The negate would be very useful. Then we have Drake Top and Skyclave Yupid. Paralyzed Bond and this one is a good hit. The river side, the, the river glide pathway uh, for the blue red lands. And then we have some decent chance, blood priest. But for the commons and uncommons, are basically a miss for that one. Then next we have a luminar ascension, a spiral, I mean. This is for the mono white humans, it's still used in uh, Pioneer. And so these are the swallowed by these fortifications. So some of the rest of the commons are just uh, pretty much it. Okay, so for Korea, we have basically a huge pile here for the commons, uh, for the promo, since we were able to purchase the three packs for 500 pesos, so it really much what tempted us to do uh, these buys, even if uh, this is from an old set. But uh, value wise, they are basically having only the triumphs and the uh, other. Uh, Cards that are still being used in Pioneer and Modern. Okay, so we're going to start randomly by opening this booster packs. So we have a uh, Yidaro, the Wandering Monster. Okay, let me just adjust again. Yidaro, Boy Bukaner, and Kraken Topen. I think this is, might be a rare, a rare find, maybe. And that is for the first pack. Next is. A Liberian Raptor, also some of the bulk rares that you can open on the set, uh, which was available back in the day. Call of the Dweller, maybe uh, having some uh, value right there. Fire Prophecy also. Okay, next, in the second pack, we have uh, Sea Dasher Octopus, another bulk rare. We had some commons, then flare back in the day was very good. Okay, so proceeding. Mm -hmm. We have on this one Giganta. Giganta is still used in the back. I think it is in. forgot that uh, archetype. This was the companion card. So it was also still used there. Sunday Outlook would be good. Uh, commons, we have some notables, but. Pretty much not from that pile. Okay, so next one, we have a mythic. We have a Shevel Bane of Monsters for our first mythic from Ikoria. And then uh, the rest would be going with uh, these uncommons, which are not yet having uh, gameplay right after the rotation. So, anyway, we have another mythic with Narset of the Ancient Way. So, we're just going to pile other mythics here. Okay, never. The commons are just pretty much it. Okay, we have a showcase Phoenix Everquill, but uh, value wise are still very small. But we have a Spark Dragon, could be one or two bucks uh, worth. Okay, and commons, commons are the same. Okay, next up, we have a Bundle and Cleave. This was quite a five, uh, $5 hit, I think, before before it was reprinted in Jumpstart. And we have a Kraken token again. Uncommons are again the same. 
those are the stubok that you find because of the value and we have our third mythic it was a mythic for real but uh, fortunately <laughs> it's not on the value okay next we'll just proceed on this for a pile of bacteria and stuff we have a mythos of the uh, bardock then some human soldiers featuring fire under tactics and a book of the commons okay last two packs for this patch we have a uh, felidar and uh kahira the orphan guard so we'll just separate this one and the uh, commons are good good uh, what mine could be still use i think in mono blue then a mono blue pioneer and uh, just our loan i think for this part is the loan triumph hit the sabar triumph for the uh, land cycle of the set and the rest are pretty much going to our bulk pile okay so that's for that one and we still have six for the core top before we go with the dmr i think we're going to go with the part two later on and it's quite a uh, long video for this opening so we can have two uh, variants okay maybe a lack of time of uh, recording this one with the cost why we should uh, delay and have a second part for this video video work so we have loot the spell chaser with the uh, little sum mid can be nice and i remember loot was banned even before it was released, the set was released. It's done as a companion, but that is depending on the old companion mechanic. We have another Felidar, but we have a Bastion of Remembrance, a good hit for this. Uh, what's uh, worth, I think, still had on the 4 to $5. And uh, some commons. And for this one, is another Shevel. So basically, we have hit. Shevel Mythic and a Winds card Crag with the planes and the Ominous Seas. I think this one's still having a value. Uh, Ominous Humans, not yet. Not that kind of human. And our last three for the Koya before we proceed with uh, the Mary Master is an Eerie Ultimatum with Uncommon and Common Book of One Mind Steel. We're just going to sort those out in a bit after this recording. And so, extension event, very nice. I think still same play in Pioneer. I think I face one of uh, Rakdos midrange deck as having those card as a sideboard. And then, last but not the least, is a mythic with General Kudro of Janet. The dark bargain for a foil with the uh, heartless act maybe heartless act still pretty much playable for this set and that's basically it for ikoya wrapping up this video with this one the money i mastered the tools for i think it was sold for 400 i think or 420 and this is our first good hit the silver library it still costs around more than i think still 30 dollars 20 to 30 dollars for this one and the Fate Shaper, our Fiction, Anitopter, Clouds of Elise can be good. Perfection Gold, Dagger, and also Mountain Art. For an old school thing. So, second on the Dim R is Gems and Mine. I think still worth some dollar or two. And Vigility Boom, Mr. Structory, and DT. The rest, Mine Son of Rex, Emerald Charm, and some savanna lions it was demoted to a common back in the day it was a very good rare which you can have a one drop for two one and our last rare for this is about this nature another one is which became an uncommon caldera and recoil also a good classic mind stone we have some good cards here also street trait and snap also good very grip shot and cracking fan for this one okay we still have some comments stuck in here i think that's basically it so stay tuned now for part two of this uh, 
high bind holes i think for this box we have the i think this is here it's the color game uh, looks it was done uh way way back and also some other live cell uh, openings so this one so stay tuned for this one and thank you for watching this video opening and see you on more future videos bye bye